how am I supposed to know all of this stuff? Oh my god. The most stressful thing of the night is. <laughs> Hey friends, so the story of finals week starts when I try to panic cook some porridge because I need all the nutrients and all the help I can get from the herbs. You know when you do lots of revision and you think like, yeah, I know this topic, then you see another question in another organ system on another species and you're just like, oh, how am I supposed to know all of this stuff? Oh my god. Um. I had to countlessly pull myself out of all the spirals and dark places so that I keep calm and just do the work and revise. The most stressful thing of the night is setting up these documents and turning off spell checker. Like, I'm just not very technologically capable to do this. <sighs> Tomorrow is the first paper, so let's hope it goes well. Please give really sheep questions. Today is our first day of exam. We ready? Let's get it. This week, I've also been trying to cook and eat better, so I've consulted my friend Gan, who gave me some useful tips about including more omega-3 fatty acids and eating more antioxidants in our diet. I might make a video about this, so stay tuned. Today is the second day of our exam, and it's on equine. And I'm a little bit more nervous than I'd like to be, but I hope it should be okay. And I look quite tired. <laughs> Mmm, stress, but we should be fine. So exams this year are a bit weird because of COVID, duh. So we are told to bring our laptops and chargers as well as to wear masks at all times to have our exam in the exam hall. This parcel could not have arrived at a better time because I was super stressed, so huge thanks to my sister. Hey friends, so we had our equine paper today and we're halfway through our exams right now. Oh, I'm so excited for exams to be done, so got home, took a nap, and now I'm going to revise. It's 3pm, so let's hope that's still enough time to cram all of small animal medicine. Today is day three of our exam and we are later than usual. Well, I'm later than usual because I'm scared. Three hours later. <sighs> hey gang, so we just done the small animals paper this morning and my god, they make you work so hard to get marks. They, they ask you like six things and they said, okay, two marks for six differentials or justify each clinical diagnostic test that you're doing. And I'm just like, oh. So tired! It was a tight exam and there are some unexpected questions but I hope everything will be fine. I'm so tired! <laughs> I'm so tired! Um, we have one more paper tomorrow which is public health so two hour paper and then that's it. Well we have some vivas next week but at least we can have a little bit of a breather and I'm going to play frisbee so hopefully that'll be nice. But yeah my god I'm so tired. I'm gonna have lunch, take a nap and then cram cram cram. Yeah. They're watching a video about cheese to revise for tomorrow. Public health! Just took a nap so now it's time for some cramming. Thank you. 
So basically what I'm doing now is to go over questions and topics that I'm not particularly confident in and things that I think might come out in the exam. I don't really like cramming so I make sure that I have a somewhat decent set of notes beforehand and have been through the content at least once before. I've also made a video about how I study at vet school, about things to do and things to avoid and hopefully it can help you. I'll link them in the cards and the description box. Today is the last day of our exam, our last final written paper. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, I'm so excited I have bloat. <laughs> Let's go. Two hours later. Ah, we just finished our last paper and I feel so I can't be emotional. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. It was a nasty paper. It was a nasty paper. There was raw fermented whatever. <laughs> Freaking sausages. <laughs> But we are done! We did it! Oh! <laughs> Get rid of Valley, but it's fine. What if I wake up happy? And what if I wake up sad? Cheers! Sorry if I said yes. something. Something that made you mad. Wishing that I could call you. Over the weekend, we got to take a break and I watched Eurovision with my friends and had Chinese takeaway, which was really, really nice. But the next morning, we were back to revising for Vivas, or trying to anyway. So, I just had my third Viva this week. Um, I've been really lucky so far that the examiners have been really nice to ask. <clears throat> to ask me nice questions and I have one more tomorrow which is small animals so let's hope my luck is still going good and that there will be nice nice questions so I guess this is 24 hours or less than 24 hours until my last ever exam so I decided to document a little bit of it I just had my lunch now I am pretending to read some in practice Maybe this might be useful for a small animal tomorrow and then <clears throat> do some revision and then I have a library shift later today. So yeah. To explain about Vivas, so basically it is a 20 minute oral examination where they will ask you questions. So far it has been case scenario questions. They show you a picture of an animal and ask you to describe and ask you how do you approach the case. Today was about veterinary public health and they asked me about avian influenza and they showed me a chicken, a poultry carcass and told me like what was wrong with it. Fairly straightforward. So let's hope tomorrow will be, will be good as well. So I managed to flick through a few pages then I got distracted. Then I called my mom because she gives the best pep talks and I miss her a lot. 20 minutes left of exams in my whole life. Wait, okay? Yeah? You're always uh, very confident. <laughs> Later that night, I muster whatever tiny, tiny bit left of motivation that I have for exams to try and give a final push. Start your computations. Hey, so it's. 8.05 p.m. a.m. <laughs> 8.05 a.m. as we speak and today is the last day of everything. I woke up from a horrendous nightmare at 5 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep so I was just scrolling through Facebook and I tried to revise but the prospect of us finishing is so close that I get so excited that I can't focus. So I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm just so excited. Um, yeah, my slot is at half ten, so two and a half hours to go. I'm so excited. Okay, focus. We gotta focus. Do a bit more. I'm gonna read a bit more, and then hopefully it'll be alright. I'm so excited. Ah, uh -huh. I'm so excited.
as you will soon see, there is an age-old tradition on how Cambridge students celebrate <laughs> post-exams. <laughs> I feel happy yeah. and um, I feel like dead inside. Maybe? Yeah, slightly dead inside. <laughs> um, but success. <laughs> success. That's Great what success. it comes. I just want to do more exams. I excitedly called my mom and then oh, went to celebrate with my friends. Yay! Officially done with all our assessments. Work on, work on, work on. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna cry at the end of the exam because I just felt so like sad. Oh, we're recording ourselves talking about yes, crying. Yes, we are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we are. How do you feel? Um, I didn't cry, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Six um, years. Six years. Where did the time go? Can you imagine? And I'm finally free from you. Free from me. <laughs> yeah. Dude, thanks for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get some more alcohol. alcohol for Ellie and then Lucy as well don't drink alcohol kids don't it's drink stay you. in school but we're gonna get some flowers as well to congratulate them. Oh, wow. so yeah well I I will be oh we done and I think of karma <laughs> film that <laughs> <laughs> how much do you love Ellie and Lucy to spend mm -hmm. let's spend oh, five go. pounds there were five pounds <laughs> there were six pounds okay there were <laughs> We done! <laughs> I'm so done! I'm gonna crash! <laughs> <laughs> Michelin star since we got to dress up so I'm so excited and we're going to go to a friend's garden to have some drinks and celebrate yeah after that night we were all super super tired and exhausted from lack of sleep and lack of water so the next morning it was a chilled morning where we just tidy up and yeah so that's it the last two weeks of my exams crazy Anyway, thank you for watching all the way till the end. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!